the Crabensis Maiden is next. It's a national hunt flat race. And it's over two miles at the top in the fast lane. David Hooley losing the wheel. Joshua Sutherland, Regal Mount. Martin Lee on the Dark Order. Matt Cooper and dramatised Paul Rhodes. A national hunt flat race. Quite often the same race every week, of course. Because there's no handicapping or anything. And uh, away they go. And whatever. I don't know if anybody knows. I think it's a bit of a pointless exercise, but... Nobody else likes it, then I'll just get on with it. And it's in the fast lane who's in the lead. It would make it more interesting if we handicapped it though. Uh, and then Dramatised is in second with the grey Regal Mount, who is a runner for the commentator who's complaining about the race. And the reason that he's a runner for the commentator who's complaining about the race is because he's a four year old hurdler. And there's only one four year old hurdle this week, which seems strange when there are two four year old hurdle races. At Cheltenham, so everybody's got two four-year-old hurdles in this table. Why well, don't the two four-year-old maiden hurdles on week one? Answers on a postcard, please. Anyway, the Dark Order is in the lead. <laughs> Losing the will in second. In the fast lane is third. And then Regal Mount and Dramatise just at the back. It's the Dark Order. Losing the wheel second. The grey regal mount on the outside of Dramatised and in the fast lane. And it's the dark one. I can't explain why I don't like these races at all because it's silly because I'm quite happy with two more flat races, but I'm just, I guess it's because I know what these are for in real life and they just don't work in SO7 League land. For me. But anyway, the Dark Order's in front. Losing the wheel is second. I'm just going to put a fed up on me moaning about it. Oh, shut up there. There's the Dark Order in front. Moaning already, it's only day one. <laughs> the Dark Order's in front. Losing the wheel is second. Regal Mount is third. And then in the fast lane and dramatised towards the back. Losing the wheel comes up on the inside. You challenge the dark order. In, in the fast lane, dramatise and regal mount. Here's the back marker. Maybe we could ban horses that are rated over a certain amount over hurdles or chases from running in these. That might help a little bit. There can be some point for the lower trainer. It's losing the wheel in front on the dark order. And dramatised in the fast lane, Regal Mount, the back marker of these. Three and a half furlongs to go. And losing the will in front. Regal Mount started to get a bit closer to the outside, using his flat speed. Which I suppose quite a few of these are doing. It's losing the will in front, dramatised in second, Regal Mount. He's in third, then the Dark Order and in the fast lane. He's hoping that the fast lane is on the outside because that's where he's going. But losing the win on the inside. Dramatised is in second. Regal Mount is in third and then in the fast lane. Next with the Dark Order back in fifth. They're well inside the final furlong and it's losing the will from Dramatised. Regal Mount and in the fast lane but it's losing the will who's holding on. Regal Mount is getting closer. This could be embarrassing for me if I was to win it but I'm not going to. It's losing the will that takes it. Dramatised was second. And Regal Mount, I think, would have been third. Would be my first ever place in a national long flat race if it is. And there you go. Losing the will takes it. Oh, Joshua Sutherland. Dramatised second for Paul Rhodes. Regal Mount third for the grumpy moaning commentator. And fourth in the fast lane for David Hooley with the dark order Matt Cooper in fifth and picking up 200 quid in loose change.